Good morning, everyone. Welcome back in. Well, an interesting question for you this morning. Are you seeing more hair in the drain these days? Well, August is Hair Loss Awareness Month. Lyndon Blake spent some time at Village Dermatology to find out solutions to a problem so many of us face. What's up, everyone? I'm at Village Dermatology in the Aesthetic and Laser Center with Dr. Sabera. Hello. It is our monthly skincare, hair care segment. Yeah. And August is a big one. It's Hair Loss Awareness Month. Yes, it sure is. It's a big one. We're going to get into some procedures that you can do to help that. But first, let's talk about the science behind it and maybe why. And I know you were telling me mm -hmm. there can be many reasons why someone could have hair loss. Exactly. And I think a lot of people just jump right to treatment without going to their dermatologist and finding out what the cause of the hair loss. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's hair falling out from the root. Other times it could just be hair breakage. So what we're going to be focusing on today is things that cause hair to fall out from the root. What is a common cause of hair falling off at the root? So common causes can be a recent stressor, like having a surgery, having a baby, a major life stress, that the hair loss starts three to six months after the stressful event. So a lot of people don't realize those. So we always ask, have you had any major stressors in your life or your health in the last six months or so. Mm -hmm. Another one is just hereditary, hormonal, those common things. Medications you're taking can cause hair loss. Nutritional deficiencies can do it. Some even are inflammatory scarring conditions related to autoimmune disease and other things. We have psoriasis, um, dandruff or subarachnoid dermatitis. So, so many and the treatments are very different. So we've got to make that diagnosis first, then we can help. Okay, first I wanna start with treatments people can do every day at home. What are things you can do, take maybe to make sure your hair is in good health? Sure, um, we, there are a lot of great supplements. Um, biotin is a really popular one. One that we recommend here, we have two great hair care products here that are, that are oral therapies that are helping to support hair growth and help support healthy scalp. So our Nutrafol, Viviscal or two that we have a lot here. Okay, yeah. and there's also other things here other things. you can do that involve mm -hmm. Needles? Yeah, well, we do. One of the things I do is um, PRP injections for mm -hmm. hair, and a PRP is platelet-rich plasma, and that's where we draw your blood. I know it's scary, but it's it's it's, it's worth I love it. it. I'm weird. Draw the blood, we spin it down, we take that liquid gold, which is your platelet-rich plasma, and we inject that into your scalp, into the area where the hair is thinning. So it's one of the few things we have that addresses almost all the different types of hair loss. And here I'm in this room because there is something kind of like a facial you can do for your scalp that kind of yes. preps your skin and your scalp for some of the things that you do on your side of the office, but mm -hmm. also just kind of gives that scalp some love. Who wouldn't want a facial in your scalp? We all love going and getting our hair massaged when we get our hair cut. Mm -hmm. And so we can actually do that here. McKenzie's going to do a little demo on you today for the, um, but it's the hydrofacial, which is a very common facial procedure, now offers Caraviv. So it's a hydrofacial for the scalp and it promotes scalp health and even can promote hair growth. So this serum is gonna be great for nourishing the scalp. It's gonna help with fuller hair. And since we did um, exfoliate and we got rid of everything on the surface, of the scalp and out of the follicles. This is really able to penetrate the skin. When you're having hair loss, who does someone need to go see for that? So a lot of people don't realize that dermatologists, obviously everyone knows we specialize in skin, mm -hmm. but we also specialize in hair and nails. So any hair, nail, or skin problem, we're the person to see. So call your dermatologist and get that diagnosis so that they can help you with your hair loss. Always the best information. Thank you so much, Dr. Sarah. Always enjoy being with you, Lyndon. Thanks.